In my opinion, all love is universal. I think that's uh, what, our, what our movie's about, right? Uh, uh, Hank has his own, you know, quirks. He has alexithemia, he has this numbness, right? And I think we can all relate after COVID, having, you know, a bit of a disconnect. Alright, so we're going to get to know you guys a little better, of course, with your participation in the movie. We want to get to know how it is that you guys work with each other, how the, how the, the flows were. Como estaba? Did you guys have any remarkable experiences during the filming of this movie? Tell us all about it. Thank you everyone for coming out. <laughs> this is... An, this is... Hello. Okay, this is okay. Hi everybody, thank you so much for coming. Um, do you want to start, Brandon, or should I? You can start. Um, well, when I met Brandon for the first time, he was like, he was very serious. Um, so he had everything planned, he had his like, folder and everything. <laughs> and I, yeah, and so he had everything like printed out, and everything, I was like, I just, I got it on my phone, <laughs> I got it on my iPad. Um, and so he like, I was like, here's what we're gonna do. This, this, and that, and I was like, okay, I'm not sure if we're going to work well together. Um, but then, uh, I think we got to talk a little bit more, um, and then slowly, we started like warming up and like showing your fun side, and now, I don't see the serious brand of that often anymore, so yeah. Yeah, the, the whole process was just absolutely incredible. Um, in regards to starting everything up, it was you know, uh, a bit of a difficult process for me at first, just kind of um, getting used to some cultural changes and things like that. But really, uh, Danny and Danny really allowed for such a welcoming and friendly environment that I was able to produce an outline in my training that was very different, very schedule oriented. Um, so, it ended up really over time. It was, uh, it was incredible just being able to get to know everyone. I feel like our time was really very much shown on the screen. Oh. Yes, I'll start. <laughs> I was trying to be a gentleman. Um, but yes, uh, so the character that I play is Hank Reeves. He's, a, he's a, an engineer who actually suffers from uh, alexithemia, which um, you know causes this numbness within you where you're unable to connect with people in a normal fashion. And the, the story really is just about Hank coming out of his uh, shell and um, showcasing that you know love prevails no matter cultural differences between people. And I feel like this is a really beautiful story, especially post-COVID, you know, everyone, um, you know, felt very disconnected for a little bit, so I feel like this really is a story that we need right now, um, and it was very much a story worth telling. And I play Grace Dolnoan, and so she's from Banawe, and she's really sweet. Um, there's another side to her, which you'll see. Um, but yeah, uh, what I love about her is that she really cares for her family and she'd do anything to make sure that her family is safe and well. Um, and so very family oriented. All different is Filipino Romantic Club from American Romantic Club. In my opinion, all love is universal. I think that's uh, what, our, what our movie's about, right? Uh, uh, Hank has his own, you know, quirks. He has alexithemia, he has this numbness, right? And I think we can all relate after COVID, having, you know, a bit of a disconnect. Um, but I feel like this, this, this movie promotes that, you know, um, you know, no matter your cultural differences, that, you, you know, you can both share love no matter what. Yes, I, I definitely agree. Um, and also, I mean, they met online and it's kind of crazy to think that you can find your soulmates online. And so they found each other, Grace and Hank, which, um, which is great. 